Hi, I'm Jeff LaRoque from Rover's Morning Glory. We're here at the Melt. Hi, I'm Jeff LaRoque. I'm outside of the Melt Bar and Grill here. Hi, I'm Jeff LaRoque from Rover's Morning Glory. I'm outside of the Melt Bar and Grill here in Independence, Ohio, and I'm going to show you how to make the perfect bacon cheeseburger. So let's go on inside and take a and sh let's do it. This is Matt, who works for Melt Bar and Grill, who is allowing me to use his kitchen and um, facilities to. I'm going to show you how to make the perfect bacon cheeseburger. So uh, you're going to have to step out of my way. I'll show you how it's done. All right. We have um, cooking wine, pot of meat made with chicken and beef. Those are just regular eggs. I don't use organic free range eggs. Maybe some, I don't know, maybe someone else will use, maybe somebody who's a vegan would use those. I don't. The um, egg in the refrigerator is okay for about, say, six months after it's hatched. Brown eggs are brown because it's, sometimes it's the way they come out of the chicken or hen's ass. Of course, chickens can't wipe, they don't have hands. What I'm gonna do with the beef is I'm gonna, you know, Take it, I'm gonna smush it up like this. If cow beef wasn't available, I'd say I'd use a pig. Pig beef or um, pork or... If you're a vegan, you wanna use turkey burgers or baka burgers or baka burger meat if you can find it, if you can be able to make it. Well, I don't use roadkill, but if, for all you hillbillies out there, road, the best roadkill is probably a rat or a squirrel or any breed of rodent. Let's say we use a little brown cinnamon, barbecue rub. That stuff is your whisketer whisk, sauce, which I don't use. Then I just gotta mix it up. Hey, at least, I, at least I don't go beating my meat with my hands. If I have to go beat my meat, um, I use a spatula. But if I'm having sex with my wife, then I, then I use my hand when I beat this meat right here. This is the fun part, is forming the patty itself. Well, this is kind of bold to about the size of a baseball. Or a woman's tit, who knows. You know, one, you know, so. And we'll just put on our cutting board and just well, I use the spatula because I don't want my patty coming apart on me. So now we just put it on our grill. If you batter fry a burger, you stick it in a fryer and you fry it in oil. Flame boiling is using fire in a pot of water and, you put, and, and putting your meat in water. This is cured salt pork, but it's a good substitute for bacon. Either, it, it came from a pig. Cut away from your hand, but because I don't have scissors, I have this is the method that I got to use now. There we go. So we'll put this on our grill. And while we're, that's being done, we're gonna cook, we're gonna cut some lettuce. Here's romaine, napa, agugula. We'll take, take a leaf. One fluid ounce, or a half, a half to one fluid ounce of lettuce on a burger. Here we go. You don't, you're not supposed to microwave your lettuce. Lettuce is a cold vegetable. Uh, when you flip the burger, you know when you see it, when you see it coming around, the cooking around the edges, so it looks like it's time to flip. Whoever the hell Salmonella is needs to get shot, strangled, and strung because that's how people get sick. I don't know why he invented the disease. Salmonella was probably born in 1946. The guy probably invented a disease called Salmonella because he probably, I don't know, he probably just doesn't like people, wants to see people get sick, I don't know. And we have our tomatoes. Now, this one, you can tell these are fresh, but um, you probably have to use like at least 10 pounds of pressure. And this is how I can tell if a tomato is really nice and firm. Like, see, I can't, I can't squeeze it so you know it's fresh. Tomatoes is one of my favorites. High in potassium, plus, you know, potassium, vitamin D, you know, like, you, can, you know, to take a tomato. All right, that's good enough. There you go. Well, this is a dill pickle. Pickle comes from, um, you know, just a, a plant you can plant in a garden, and then, um, this is a red onion. I don't have any, um, this is a, um, this is a purple, and then there's also yellow, and bedal onions. Now I'm gonna take your, col take a, take um, some Colby cheese. If you got long fingernails, you just shred it like this. No, I don't have, I don't have the fingernails. The other way you can cut it is like this. We'll just put it on our patty. If you eat too much cheese, your ass is gonna ship buttermilk. Those are for people who are lactose intolerant. These are Kaiser rolls, they'll work. I mean, some restaurants use Kaiser rolls, others use kielbasa bread, others will just use just a you know regular hamburger bun. Or brochet bun, they call it. 
Oh, I have no idea why whole wheat has holes in it, but it's like it's like it's a crop, and it's used to make all kinds of stuff. Okay. I'm gonna make my own special sauce. It's gonna consist of part of it's gonna be ketchup. Uh, ketchup is red and it's made of tomatoes. Catsup is something coming from a cat. Some mayonnaise. And we're gonna thin it out with a little bit of uh, cooking wine. Add a little cinnamon. And we'll add a little shrimp seasoning. Yeah, this is made up of ground shrimps. This is called ground cardamom. We're gonna use just a, a pinch. Now we're gonna take it and mix it all together. It's pretty good. Put on our, our little burger here. Okay, and then there's my burger. And bottoms up.